Ooh. Okay, I think we are ready to rock and roll. Why doesn't this thing say I'm live? Eh? How about now? There we go. Think I beat the announcement. Yeah, you yeah, kind of did, Lord Sloth. That's uh, that's a wee bit creepy. <laughs> All right, let's do this. What's going on, everybody? Mobius, why here? Something went wrong, but don't fret. Let's give it another shot. Just post. It's not difficult, Twitter. Come on. Probably because I'm not some angry SJ, SJW going, Ree! is what the dealio is. And... Anyways. Um... Yeah, we're back in Age of Wonders Planetfall, as you can see. And uh, we're going to jump back into our stream game. Where we play as the Vanguard with the Void Tech. Uh, Void Tech secret technology. Yeah, I forgot what I was talking about for a second there. Time of recording this is Monday, April 26th. Hopefully everybody had a okay weekend um mine was decent i didn't really do I got bored on sunday i got bored of playing my video games so i pulled out my copy of the silver river which is a board game picked up around this time last year in fact it's a solo variant and played that i killed about two hours of my time yesterday i was just like i don't feel like playing any of these right now <laughs> pull out something tap and i can actually touch and mess around with uh with my hands those of you watching this in the future on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs and comment down below. Talking about Age of Wonders, Planetfall, or my content, or a giant piece of crap. Whatever suits your fancy. All helps out with my content and the all. Greatly appreciate it. And consider subscribing. Check out some more of my content in the uh, The goal for 2021 is to try to hit 10,000. <laughs> chat for a second the goal for 2020 is try to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of december it's a pretty tall order but i think we could do it uh, if we work together best things you can do are of course subscribe yourself and share this content with anybody who you think might enjoy watching it if you have any friends or colleagues that you know of uh, that play or are interested in age of wonders planet fall send them my way maybe i'll uh convince them to give it a shot for themselves don't forget to check out the links in the description below. You'll find one for my Twitch channel, which I streamed this off of. Give me a follow there. Come on by and see what I'm playing when I am live. Currently streaming Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays at 7 o'clock Mountain Time. That's my local time. So four days a week. Pop in, see what I'm playing. Uh, there's also a link to my Twitter feed down below. Give me a follow there. It's a great way to keep in touch with me, and I post important announcements all the time. It's a really good alternative if you struggle to get Twitch notifications appropriately because I post whenever a stream starts. Last but not least, there is a link to my own personal Discord channel for fans of my content to freely join. Uh, you can hang out with other people who watch my stuff uh, and just talk about whatever's on your mind. Uh, we got people from uh, all over the place, and uh, most everybody there is present for my Stellaris console edition stuff, but, uh, you know, you can talk about the other stuff that I have going on. We also have a couple events there as well, all throughout 2021. If you see something really cool happen in one of my, uh, one of my streams or one of my videos, uh, you can... Um, submit the clip of it and I put it in the compilation video kind of Moby's best moments of 2021 as chosen by you the viewers and that video goes public in January of 2022 um, and the other thing that's happening is we currently have a viewer poll going on right now where I actually put up a list of about 26 games or so in my games library uh, that I think would be fun to play live on stream you go and cast your votes on um, however many games you want, just the ones that sound interesting to you. The ones that get the most votes are ones that I will wind up streaming. Um, so that's happening. Uh, currently, <laughs> Mass Effect Legendary Edition is kicking ass in that poll. <laughs> so if you want to you make your voice heard, uh, join the Discord. That's the place to be. Hopefully, I'll uh, see you in the Discord or on a, on a live stream. And I do also hope that you join us on the road to 10k. And that we uh, have our own little celebration together uh, by the end of this year. All right, let's get going. Hello, went loud. Just uh, yep, uh, nuggets and biscuits, dipping in the mashed potatoes. We can cry together. <laughs> you really want me to play that Soma? Eh, whatever. 
Uh, why are you crying? I don't know. Strength Norris, what's up, buddy? Yes, game speed on Stellaris seems to be back to normal. That's what the hotfix today was supposed to do, buddy, so it's good to hear. It's Last Shadow. I d had no idea, considering your username says Last Shadow. <laughs> yeah, they updated it. So someone, someone will make you hate being alive. Is that an acronym, or it's a game I'm always pull? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a PS4 game. I got it for free many years back. It's apparently a horror game, and Naughty Dog had, like, a traumatic child uh, near Chuck Norris experience or something by playing that game. Uh, so I think if you guys vote for it and I actually wind up playing it, we can all laugh at how much of a pussy Naughty Dog is uh, when we go through the same moments where he wet himself and I'll just be like, what the fuck was that? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Someone would be such a great on-stream playthrough if you don't know what it is. Uh, it's a horror game, that's all I know. Oh, so we might get to watch you snap. <laughs> Uh, Dark Souls wasn't enough? <laughs> we can hate our existence together. Whatever you say. Alright, we got some operations ready. I'm not going to ignore that. Uh, rapid reforestation. Okay, we got some proposals from uh, some of our, our allies. Ooh, Jana and Countess forged a defensive pact. That's not good. Uh, those are the two that declared they're going to help out the Voidbringers um, against us. Okay, we got our forward base back over there. We also got another forward base over here where the spawners were. That's good. Uh, Energizer produced Production a gunship. Production ready. Okay, so we need more... More unitos. Uh, what the hell am I going to make here? I don't know. Uh, let's make an assault bike. I have hardly any assault bikes in the, in the entire military, so... Uh, proposal. What's this? You want to give us Cosmite? Sure. I'll take it. And... Tian 3... She wants Sky Canopy? Where the hell's that? Uh, that's over there. Um, you know what? I'm inclined to give it to her because it's got a source of Cosmite. It's not doing me any good because I don't have a colony way up here. So, maybe I'll give it to her. Fuck it. Uh, Empire Breakthrough Lava Stream? What's this? Uh, Empire gains plus 10 energy from lava streams in a colony's domain. Now, that's not bad. Not great, but not bad. Could, could have been better, but oh well. Um, back to the proposal. Oh, Jesus! She wants to give us 128 Cosmite. I'll take that. Here, have my shitty-ass territory. I don't care. Okay. Ops ready to launch. I love and hate that game. All right. Operations primed and ready. I get it, Naughty Dog. You're a big wussy. It's okay. Don't gotta tell us again. We get it. <laughs> Let's get a bunker buster. Um, that will help with uh, weakening some armies. This game is PS5. What game is PS5? I'm not playing on PS5, if that's what you're asking. I'm playing on my Xbox One right now. Uh, orders required for this hero. Where is he again? Oh, he's way over here. Right. Um, oh, and we got that spawner right there to deal with, too. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and deal with it. Move you here. Uh, where? We had another army nearby. This guy. Here you are. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and move you. Hmm. Where can this walker move? Damn. Can't move close enough. Okay. You can just go right here. This will work. There you go. I'm pretty sure walkers lose a lot of mobility, like, over mountains and shit like that, so. Um, this guy needs to move here. And then you just go ahead and move. You know what? Let's go two and two. Let's put them. I'm asking if it's on PS5. Sorry. Um, I think so. I believe you can play it on PS5. Um, I know, I know you can play it on uh, uh, Xbox Series X. Okay, so, uh, we've got our hero guy, he's all kitted out with a decent army. Ooh, you lost somebody. This this army only has five units in it. What the hell happened there? Uh, maybe I just had them moving and I got them to run away, so. Play Soma, come back to be a whole man who is 100% sure of his existence and you can call me a pussy. I'll have no problem with that, dude. <laughs> Um, this isn't a hero either, so I've got two non-hero, or sorry, three non-hero armies involved in this. Alright, well, let's do this. Uh, right at the start of the game, ten minutes in, and we're getting to, into a battle. 
This is a low risk battle. Uh, it's tempting to just auto combat this. Let's jump into ma manual combat. There we go. Yes, Joe, I have a T-Rex. The official webpage for the game lists PS4. Hmm. You might, like, if you might have to get it on PS4, and then you should be able to play it on PS5. That's my guess, anyways. Um, I have no... I have no snipers. I just realized, shit. It's not very good. But you know how we rectify that? I'm gonna use some dimensional collapse, baby. Operations available. Okay, so where is everybody? Okay, we've got two armies over there, and then the other two should be over here. Yep, that's how they are. Okay. Uh, first things first. Dimensional collapse on this son of a bitch. Why? Because fuck you. Enemy neutralized. Got him! <laughs> Bitch. Alright, uh, now, who's next? Oh man, I can shoot that guy from here. No, no way. Uh, I can shoot him from here, though. Hmm. What to do? But there is YouTube footage labeled PS5. Fair enough. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and get this guy to move forward a teeny tiny bit. And let's just stick him on Overwatch, shall we? Actually, no. You know what? Better off just shooting. Shooting is good. 43? Damn. Um. Hmm. Fuck it. Let's try shooting him. Got him. There we go. They lost an action point with that shit, too. That's great. I'll take it. Alright, now. Engineers. Y'all can go right over here. And set up your missile turret. There you go. Now, missile turret. is gonna do missile-y things. Did I, did I mention how fun missiles are? How much I like just spamming missiles? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Missile! Whee! Get shit on. Alright. Now. Um, reminds me of old days of StarCraft. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and set you up in Overwatch like so. That'll work for me. And then the Harrier will also move forward and set it up in Overwatch. It'll, it's only going to fire twice in Overwatch, but that's okay with me. Like so... And then, oh yeah, I totally forgot. Oh my god. Oh. Forgot about that, but networking doesn't do de jack diddly squat because the dude is the only thing that's networked. So, whatever. Alright, Sentinels. Let's, uh... Hmm. Let's stick the Sentinel right here. Autonom Sentinel. And the nice thing about the Autonom Sentinel that I like is that when it's on Overwatch, it goes on Overwatch in all directions. Super duper awesome. Well, I shouldn't say super duper awesome, but it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. There you go. Alright, you're good. Alright, now these guys, what do we have here? We got an Imperial Buggy. Uh, we've got an, a Huntress. Two Huntresses. Three Huntresses? What the fuck is this? What the hell kind of army setup is this? Oh, and you also only have five units. Great. I didn't realize that. Okay. I'm going to be annoying about this, Moby. I don't care. Moby Soma. Hey, you be as annoying as you think you're being, man. You're not annoying me one bit. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to move the buggy here. Kind of risky to do so, but you can take out the spawner. Zap and zap. Enemy there neutralized. We go. Got him. Beautiful. All right, now let's move this walker unit, the heavy soldier, I should say. Move him up here. Ooh, I've only got one shot. What? Uh, I moved him too far. Yeah, I moved him way too far. Okay. Um, 
Doesn't have a shot from any other angle either, does he? No. Nope. Okay. Um, I really need these huntresses to be able to shoot somebody. A grenade might work too. I just realized. Y'all can run up here and chuck a grenade? Nope. Maybe not. Damn it. Okay, better yet. Uh, no, you can't do a flash hour either. Come on. Alright. Excellent game for stream if it's, if it's your first playthrough. Indeed. So you keep saying. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not even close. So you'd have to be like right there. Damn. Okay. Uh, I have my gripes about uh, Huntresses. They can't go into Overwatch. They have limited range. Blah, 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 blah. The list goes on. Suck on this. Enemy eliminated. Gotcha. Alright, next up. Good thing we have super long range missile launchers available for our Huntresses. Hey? Uh, can't shoot this guy, so I'm just going to move the walker like over here. Or the soldier. The heavy soldier. Get the flavor. The heavy flavor. Alright, now you move up here. And guess what? It's missile time! You missed. 85% chance to get that right. You fucked it up. Come on. Alright, well... Since you really sucked the first time, let's try that again. And That's eliminated. better. Get out of here. Okay, next. Um, damn, son. Can't really do too much from here, can I? Uh, I could shoot a rocket at that thing up there. Won't, it won't do a hell of a lot of damage, though. Not at this point. Alright, so let's just move you up a teeny tiny bit and go ahead and stick you on Overwatch. That works for me. Oh... Oh, yes. I do have a sniper hero. Oh, no, wait. He's got medley. That's right. He's got that uh, assault rifle thingy. So let's go ahead. Stick him on Overwatch as well. And the engineer. You guys are going to get right up over here. Set up your turret. turret and totes my goats shoot at this son of a bitch come on there we go suck on this eat it little bitch hmm what can my phase shift phase manipulator do hmm hmm got my echo walker you can't do anything. Can't get anywhere near close enough. At least not yet. Alright, so Echo Walker. Let's move you over here. And put you in defense mode. My favorite thing about Huntresses, they can fire over melee units without friendly fire, given all the animals. They get very nice. Yeah, that's, a, that's actually a good point. Um, that they can do that, which is pretty cool. Runicab, what's up? Good to see you tonight. What's your favorite faction in Secret Tech? Void Tech Vanguard. <laughs> it's it's the one I've it's the, it is the one that I've used the most easily. So they're they're my fave so far. Uh, let's go ahead and move it here. I'm trying to kind of use it as bait. Moving it awfully close. And then defense mode. All right, that's risky, but I'll take it. Now we've got this thing. It's a Buster missile, but it only has a range of five, which is. The same as our gravity pulse grenade. Let's go ahead and move up to here. What's your least favorite? Um, I didn't have, I didn't spend enough time with Kirko, so I'd say right now they're my least favorite. Oh, uh, Kirko and Celestian. Not that I dislike Celestian, but like, like as I was saying, I, I spent the least amount of time with the Celestian secret tech, so can't really say that uh, I'm a fan of it. Enemy neutralized. Here we go. That's taken care of. Another spawner bites the dust. Doo 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 doo. Another one bites the dust. Doo 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 doo. All right. 
Now, let's get the Harrier. Move over to here. And I'm just going to stick it in Overwatch. Like this. And the Biomancer. What are you going to do? Hmm. That's a good question. Um... Let's go ahead and keep the Tyranidon back. I don't want it getting flanked, like, right away. So let's stick it over here. And look this way. Sure. Just in case. And then... Manipulate sleep. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, shit, you can grenade those. Sweet. We'll do that. Go ahead and... Right there. Okay. Grenade out! <laughs> Suck it. Alright, now... What's the range on this thing again? Five? Yep, five. Okay, so let's go ahead and move our Lancer right there. Can't shoot anybody. But let's, let's leave you where you are. Okay, so I just need to kill this guy right here that's floating, who we whacked with the missile, and this guy right here. That's really all I need that... Uh, that is really all I need left to do. We already got three of the spawners as well, so that'll help. That'll help big time. Alright. Turn. There's a bike. Oh no! What is the overall goal, goal for this game? Uh, destroy everybody. Kill all things. Be awesome. It's a four. It's a four X strategy game, just like Stellaris. Ooh. Okay. So in this particular game, I'll show you in a second. These bad units that we're attacking. Uh. They're called Void Bringers. Think of them as the end game crisis of um, Age of Wonders Planetfall. Because that's pretty much what's going on now. So, on the world, or on the planet, there's these spawners that keep crashing into the, into the world, and they're spawning Void Bringer armies. Uh, we, have to t we have to take out enough of those spawners to weaken this impenetrable shield around the Void Bringer's beacon. Uh, because they're, they're actually being summoned here by a beacon. Once we attack that beacon and take it out, we straight up win the game. Once the Voidbringers show up as well, you can actually declare your allegiance to them and help them um, help them fight against everybody else. Or you can say, fuck you, and fight against them, which is what we're doing right now. I should act more accurately say accu more accurately say is what we've been doing. All right, let's go ahead and bonk, bonk, bonk. Suck it. That guy's almost dead. But because that was an echo walker, I can't really use a ranged attack. There we go. I don't have a ranged attack to use to kill this thing. Damn, son. Okay. Well, this guy's dead. Eat shit, eat shit, Enemy eat shit. Alright, that's one down. Now, we've just... There was only a few Voidbringer units, so if we kill all these Voidbringer units, uh, all these enthralled um, enemy units, like, they insta-die, we automatically win the battle. It's just, boom, done. We win. Alright, now, let's move up to here. We got a double missile coming up with this guy, so we're gonna use the strike missile. Pew, pew! Suck on those, bitch! Now we're gonna use the brimstone missile. Pew, pew. You missed, you, s you suck so bad. You fucking suck so bad. All right, can this guy shoot him? Uh, I can't tell. I can't fucking tell, holy shit. Sad thing is games like this don't advertising that they are on console. Oh no, this game went through heavy marketing, buddy, when it came out in... This this game just came out in 2019. Like, September, October, November 2019, and it was heavily marketed for. They never stood a chance. There we go, we won. 
Suck it. We beat all the major Voidbringer units, so bam, we win the battle. Boom, there we go. Voidbringer's Faction War, we got some goodies. I'm going to go ahead and create another forward base here, just for fun. Because, why not? Okay, now there's, there's that little pickup over there. I want to go grab it. It's in the Pteranodon dude over here. And now this hero. Uh, you can do something else. Uh, I should make a forward base right here. Maybe that will cause the road to go around and like through. I don't know. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll connect a road. I don't know. I'm, I'm making shit up. You're making that up. I'm telling you, it's a real animal. Simmons, I want you to poison Griff's next meal. Yes, sir! <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. So, a uh, fun fact, actually. I found out... I, I got curious. So I checked. And I found out that if we just flat out kill the Voidbringer's Beacon, we win the game. We just, boom, win. So, that's going to have to be the plan is we actually go after this stupid beacon thing way over here rather than do the doomsday um, the doomsday weapon victory. I think just going after their beacon would be the wise thing to do. Unfortunately getting there is going to be a process. I think the best we can try for is we're going go to go into diplomacy we'll talk to our ally Mahina Wateka who is way up here in the northeast close to the beacon uh, first let's compliment her because why not? There you go. And then, uh, let's try to negotiate to where we can, um, open relay agreement. This allows uh, a player to make use of another player's orbital relays, both as starting point and destination, integrating them into their orbital network. The open relay agreement requires that the player also opens their borders. If the open borders treaty is broken or expires, so will the open relay agreement. So I'm thinking we'll just do it like permanently and not for just 10 turns. So let's go ahead and do that. Send proposal. Good. All right. She's cool with it. Very good. Okay. So now we can use her orbital relays to quickly move our units into her territory to wherever she has a orbital relay. Now let's go ahead and compliment TN3. Gotta, we got to keep them on our on our on. We got to keep on their good side, and compliments are such an easy way to do that. There you go. There we go. Now she's a little bit happier with us too. Very good. Countess can suck an egg. What else can we buy from you guys? Uh, hmm. Already owned. Looks like I already own all of the... Uh, this is a doctrine. I'll take it anyways. It looks like I already own all of the mods from the Paragon. I kind of want mods from the Spacers. That's okay. Uh, unstable shanty town. Got some loot to trade, yo. Oh, it already opened it. Duh. Okay, debilitating strain. What does this do? From biochemical weapons. Ah, fuck it. Let's buy it. And then what else? Nothing. Doctrinal preparation. You get a small amount of energy after each battle. This scales with the number of units that were killed. Okay. That's fine. We'll leave that alone. <gasps> Excuse me. Did I buy a unit? I did not mean to buy a unit. Fuck. Okay. Well. Miniaturized missile array. What's the mind barrier again? Uh, this mod creates a small psionic barrier around the unit. Blah, 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 blah. Let's give them some jet packs still. And a phase walk modulator? I think so. There we go. That should all work. Sure, why not? Deep Striker! So we got the long-range missile for the earlier turns. The Brimstone missile. And we've got the other stuff for the other stuff. Alright, here we go. Orbital Relay Network. Swoop! From the west side of our territory. Swoop! 
over to the east side of our territory, just like that. That's how it works. So let's recap what happened there. So he was actually in the capital, right here. He ran along the roadway down to this orbital relay, where it went zoop, and then teleported him over to here. Uh, somewhere over in this general vicinity. Where the fuck was it? Oh, I didn't go east far enough. Troop over here to like the east end of our territory. So yeah, he went to, he went a ways, way faster than just moving across the terrain. Way faster, obviously. All right, let's go ahead and. Uh, no, you don't need to heal, so you're fine. All right, let's go ahead and get you to hit this. Okay. I need to get these guys to some orbital relays because I want to start moving them into Mahina Wateka's territory. So make your way down to here. That ought to do it. Where are you now? Oh, man, you're all the way over in Amazon Prime. That was quite the distance you covered. Very good. Okay, now... This is just a regular heavy soldier, so I'm just going to leave you be. Uh, this is a hero. Get her to start moving down here as well. Here they come. Bum, 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 Aw. What do you mean orders required? You can't move anywhere. Oh. You can move right onto this thing. Oh, great. And then you can't do a damn thing. So you're fine. Hors d'oeuvres required. Okay. Um, didn't we have another spawner to deal with? Oh. <laughs> Two! Excuse me, shit. Uh, I guess I'm on drugs. Whew. We don't have another spawner to deal with, eh? Fair enough. Alright, well, let's uh, get some peoples back to the orbital relay at the Coeur d'Alene Casino. Uh, this way. Alright. There we go. And then. MC Hammer. She's going to make her way down here as well. I probably could have gotten away with just a 10 turn relay agreement, but I wanted to I want to leave it open in case uh, things go south. Okay, and then you go here. The real question is uh where are Mahina Wateka's orbital relays? I have no idea where she has them set up. So, yeah, that could be a problem. Keyword could. Uh, now, we're going to have some dudes just kind of hanging around in random locations as well. Deal with potential spawners. 497 Cosmite. Yikes. All right, you stay right there. Uh, Commander. Sitting right on the colony when I don't really want you to. Let's get a Harrier. Let's get a Pteranodon. Let's get a Phase Manipulator. Let's get a Rift Generator. And let's also get an Arborean Sentinel. And what else? Oh, you know what? Let's just get another Harrier. Boop. There we go. There goes pretty much all of our Cosmite. <laughs> All right, next up, uh, you need to go somewhere. Can you get to the healing station? Uh, ooh, you might be able to. Hit this thing first. And... There you go. Back to full health. Well, maybe not. Um, not yet. Had to move you onto the health station first. Duh. All right, now let's move you over there. Okay, that's a start. And now, laser tank lady, where are you? You can start heading down towards this thing as well. There we go. Is this a PDX game? Well, it was developed by it was developed by Triumph Studios, but it is published by Paradox. Um, and then this hero make her way towards the. Orbital relay as well. She's got a bit of a 
farther journey. Uh, what are you doing? Why are you just chilling here? Uh, oh yeah, I told you to do that. Okay, so just wait. And then the, all these gunships. Mm, we got an assault bike on the way as well. Let's go ahead and grab a trooper. And something else. Hmm. You know what? I'll just grab an engineer. I'm sure. That'll work. Okay, here's our other sniper hero. And I need you to move down here. And just make your way to that orbital relay. And we're, we're okay. No, you're staying put. Just relax. Okay. Uh, so we don't need to do any more operations. We've got some units being generated. Um, I think we'll be okay. Seriously, where are her orbital relay? Oh, shit. There's one right up here. Yeah, that's like the closest point in her territory towards that uh, towards that beacon. That's awesome. You get like a tiny bit of vision to her orbital. Man, look at all the orbital relays that she's spamming. That's really stupid. Like you got one right here and you got one right fucking there, like two sectors over. Come on. Stop being dumb, computer players. Whatever. All right, uh, let's end the turn. And then we gotta wait for all the other people to do their turn. There we go. Um, but yeah, so I've said this time and time and time and time again. But uh, Runicat, Last Shadow, I don't think you really uh, aren't those Amazon units. Yes, I have some a Amazon colonies, uh, so I'm able to create Amazon units. Um, for example, I've got... Where the hell is it? Uh, I'm looking for... There it is. Where our commander is, Amazon Prime. That is an Amazon colony. When you have a colony of a different faction, you can get the uh, technologies to produce their units at that colony, which is cool. It's like risk on steroids. Um, it's... I've said it's an amalgamation of three different kinds of games several times. So on the strategic map, with the with the hex-based strategic map, and you're moving your units around on it, and you're also having colony uh, colonizer units move around and start up colonies and stuff like that, expanding your territory to get more resources being produced every turn, blah, blah, blah. In that aspect, in terms of building up your uh, empire's territory and building up your economy the game is a lot like civilization uh but you have your you have your armies that move around not just like one this one army does not represent this one walker is not just one unit it's actually six in a full stack you can stack up to six units in a single army and have them move around and go into combat with another army the thing is though when you move uh, a st an army stack to attack another enemy army every army that is in an adjacent hex in the six adjacent hexes from the army that is being attacked so in this case if this walker was being attacked the one two three four five six hexes adjacent to it where there are other armies doesn't matter which faction they are uh, I don't think they also get dragged into the battle so you can actually have up to seven armies in a single battle. So you're, that's um, 30, 36, 42 units total in a single battle. But those armies can also be led by your heroes, which is this person. Um, and the thing about the heroes is they gain XP and um, level up to get more skills and get better and get more abilities and stuff like that and some better stats in some cases and you can kit them out with different weapons for example the hero that's in a walker herself if i decided to i could say okay ditch that i'm just going to give you a regular assault rifle um or i'm going to give you a shotgun or this person with a sniper rifle i could say okay ditch that you're going to take like a laser sword you're going to become a melee hero now you can do that although the combination of leveling up your heroes and giving them certain skills uh, for that apply 
you know, in a lot of cases, apply certain different bonuses. You're kind of tailoring them towards the equipment that they're using. So because this person is a sniper hero, I've kitted her out for like more damage with ranged weapons, better accuracy, better critical hit chance, better critical hit damage, that kind of stuff, because she's using a very long range uh, weapon. Uh, you can set up melee heroes to do more melee damage, have more health. They cannot be flanked, stuff like that. You can give them a jetpack so that they can, instead of running six spaces, they can jump five spaces with the jetpack. So it's a lot like Heroes of Might and Magic because you're kidding out your heroes with these different abilities uh, and different equipment to, uh, you know, have them um, behave a certain way when in combat. And the combat, when you actually, when you actually take, ooh, geez, short-lived nanites, hurry production costs 50% less energy. Holy shit. Cyborg and mechanical units are being healed for 8 HP during tactical combat and have an additional 10% chance to fumble their attacks and abilities. I don't really like this one, but it's okay. Um, what was I going to say? Once you actually get into combat, it, turn, it becomes that turn-based tactical combat where you're on a much smaller map and you control all the units uh, one at a time to get them to move around and use their various abilities or, or execute their various attacks trying to destroy the enemy. Did I build all the structures? No. Civ, XCOM, Heroes of Might and Magic type systems, but in terms of game flow, I, like it to a fully, I liken it to a fully turn-based Total War. Uh, that's fair. I actually haven't played Total War myself. Uh, no, there are buildings already on the map. Yes. Uh, so the only things that I've actually built are, like, this is a colony. I built the colony myself, and the colony has structures that you can produce in it to apply certain effects and bonuses to the colony itself. Uh, that's a thing. Um, the other thing that you can do is to expand the colony's territory and have it... Uh, producing more resources, you annex nearby sectors. So, as you can see, there's there's all these little borders uh, on the map, divvying up small swaths of, of hexes of space. That is a sector. So, unlike in Civ, where your colony's territory expands like one hex at a time, in this, you get a whole sector under your, under your control, and you get all of the territory in that sector. Um, so it works very differently. So the, this colony here, I built that. I put a colonizer unit there, told it to start a colony. Uh, this building here, I kind of sort of built that by annexing this sector uh, into the colony of Lord Sloth's house. Same with this sector. The damp rainforest is also annexed to Lord Sloth's house. But there's a lot of buildings that are, are just procedurally generated onto the map. For example, the Paragon Barracks here... Uh, is normally occupied and you have to actually take an army into it clear out the defenders and then once you do that if it's in your domain if it is in your territory it gives a bonus of some sort to a linked colony in this case it's granting plus 10 energy and plus 10 production resources per turn to the colony it's linked to uh, so that's a the thing there's another one right here overgrown biodone every uh, turn it grants plus 10 food to the colony it is linked to. Uh, and if it's in a food, uh, or sorry, if it's in an agriculture exploitation, which uh, boosts food production in the sector, this grants an additional plus 5 food. So it's actually giving plus 15 food to the colony it is, it is linked to, which is Amazon Prime. So same thing with this healing station. That just starts on the map. Uh, this uh, Imperial War Monument, that just is made on the map, the broadcast station. Those kind of buildings, those just pop up on the map, and you have to, like, gain control of them yourself. There could be a, there could be a stack of an enemy, uh, an enemy army on it, or there could be one of the NPC factions, and you can either fight them or bribe them. So, for example, this thing here, this is an army from an NPC faction, which is kind of a neutral faction that you can engage in varying degrees of diplomacy with. So I could spend a bunch of the game's influence to ask them, hey, can you leave this location because I want it? And they, leave, and they peacefully leave if we have enough. Or we could attack them, go into combat, and if we beat them, then we get control of the site. Same thing with this one. That's, uh, that's the same NPC faction controlling that location. This one 
is uh, currently occupied, but not by anybody. It's just got defenders in it. We would have to take an army in there and clear out the defenders, and then that building is available. Like, we could get the bonuses from that building, etc., etc. You capture them and they get bonuses. I have actually played before, back before the Reptile faction. Oh, fair enough. That's a ways back. Because Invasions was the first DLC, so... Alright, that's enough of that. Uh, Voidbringer's spawner drop location detected. Shit. It's right there. Okay. Um, we're going to have to move some people back there to deal with it. Um, so, let's go ahead and get you folks. Let's get the melee heroes on, the, on their way. Uh, why is there a semi-road here? I don't get that. Alright. Um, move it on up here. And let's go ahead. Oops. Let's get MC Hammer. She's going to plop her butt in here. Invasions with a second DLC, I thought. Oh, yeah. Sorry. You're right. Revelations was first. I'm, I'm an idiot. My bad. Invasions came out like just uh, about this time last year, wasn't it? Or sorry. It was summer. Summer of last year. Something like that. And then uh, Revelations was about this time last year, if not a little bit sooner. Okay. And then this hero, she's also going to move up this way. It was the first full expansion. There was a secret tech DLC before it, though. Yeah, that was Revelations. Uh, forward base created. Great. I don't really care. You guys have produced an assault bike. Man, you produced a bunch of shite. And then Amazon Production Prime ready. produced a Harrier. So let's leave that alone. Um, let's keep the commander moving. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the commander and these other units that were moving towards this orbital relay down here. I'm going to keep them moving. They're going to go on the offensive and try to take out that beacon. Everybody else, like the melee heroes, for starters, they are going to start... They're going to stick around and defend our territory. All right, so you can actually move all the way up to here. Shwoop, there we go. And that's how orbital relays work. They can be pretty Production awesome. Ready. <laughs> how many game hours have been invested so far? I have no idea. Like, in this particular game, uh, I would say... Well, this is, like, the 19th stream, so... Uh, that'll be a little less than 40 hours in this particular game. But you have to, you have to understand that I'm also stopping a lot and talking about the damn game ready. an awful lot. So it's really slowing things down. Um, crank up your production, why don't we? Okay, and how about some more science, just for fun? Okay, and then we can totally do a virtual entertainment plaza and a water sectors upgrade for realsies. So yeah, we're we're closing in on about this will be about 38 hours by the time this stream ends. Happiness, Happiness and Royal Duke Jam. Colony. Okay, we got some knowledge from Royal Duke Jam. That's good. We're gonna leave that as is. Knowledge. Ty Lopez. Knowledge. Alright, well, you stay put. Uh, internal purge complete. We still have a breach that we can't take care of. That's too bad. Oh. This, this hero leveled up. That's beautiful. Alright, so we got five skill points. What have we learned so far? Uh, close quarters specialist three... Vitality 3, Martial Artist First Strike, Personal Weapons Expert, Phoenix Surge. Ooh, I forgot about that one. Um, what else? Hmm. Personal Defense Expert wouldn't be too bad. But is there something better? Deadeye? We can start giving her the Deadeye things. Why does she have Range Specialist 1 again? Did I accidentally pick that at some point? Or did, did I just... Did she start with that? I can't remember. Doesn't matter. Extermination Squad... Uh, fallout protocols. Ooh, fallout protocols would be really useful right now because all these void bringers bring in uh, have flame attacks. Hmm. I think that's what we'll do. I could really use her having some more aggressive things, but let's get her a little bit more protection for her army stack. That's pretty good. Can your occupied territory be invaded? Oh, absolutely. 
Alright, so let's uh, leave that at that. And now we've got a sniper hero. Let's get this sniper hero. She is going to start making her way to defend our territory. So I'm going to start moving her up this way. Build a forward, forward base right there in the bridge gorge. Now, laser tank lady, uh, you need to join walker lady way up here. There you are. And do your thing. Shwoop. Here he comes. And off they go. And shwoop. Ready to rock and roll. That's the other thing, too, is you can actually have eight armies in a single battle. Uh, because for each bit of your territory, like if this sector base is what it's called, or my, one of my forward bases that's expanding my territory, or even my colony gets attacked, there is actually a militia army that will defend that. So, in theory, you could have four defending armies dealing with four attacking armies, and it's like, a, it's a big fucking battle, and it's really cool. That's uh, 48 units. Alright, let's get this guy to move towards the army that I want him to be a part of, so head up this way. And... Which army am I going to stick you in? I don't like this army with the three huntresses. That's just stupid. Alright. I'm going to bring this guy along to attack the beacon. I kind of want him there because his medley weapon could be potentially extremely helpful. Plus he's got a decent army stack, I think. A walker, an engineer, um, an echo walker. So like that's a lot of missile launchers right there. Um, let's go ahead and get this guy to pick up this item. Bloop. Uh, what do we got? Thunderbreak, cementing bomb, old jetpack. Okay. Um, let's move him to the arsenal, I guess. Alright, now. This army stack, you need another unit. What am I going to give you? I don't know yet. Let's just put you up here for now. And this army stack, you can just move down here for now. Mr. Stellaris, which Fallen Empire gates jump... Which Fallen Empire hates jump drives? None of them. Uh, let's move up to here. Okay, and then we've still got all these folks chilling. You stay put. And then this sniper hero... She is going to go and help attack the beacon. She's right up here, though. She could help out with defending this. But uh, that's okay. I need her. I need a, I need a sniper unit going with us uh, to attack the beacon. Absolutely. It's too good to pass up. All right, let's start moving you over this way, then. I thought one of the FEs will, will yell at you for researching them. Not to my knowledge. Unless something's changed. Alright, you can stay put right there. Orders required. We've got a Harrier. Um, don't you already have a Harrier? You do. So you know what? Maybe I... Oh, shit. I messed up. I really messed up. They are dangerous. They are a dangerous tech. Yeah. That doesn't necessarily mean that a fallen empire gets mad at you for researching it automatically. That. Uh, let's see. Generate energy. It's a dangerous tech because it increases the odds of a certain crisis appearing. In this case, the unbidden, or I should say, the extra-dimensional invaders. If I recall right, the only technology um, that even remotely pisses off another fallen empire is synthetics. Uh, because both the materialist and the spiritualist factions don't like you using robots. Well, I should say the materialist doesn't like you using robots. The spiritualist doesn't like you becoming robots. So, those are the only things that come to mind. And that's not even related to getting the synthetics tech. Alright. 
We've only had the one big battle so far, which is eh, kind of meh. So the heroes... Ooh. Chan 3 has committed an atrocity. Which is what? What did they do? What did she do? The real question is, did she actually commit an atrocity or did somebody using covert ops try to falsify atrocities? Because that's an actual thing. Now spiritualists will try to force you to outlaw AIs. Um, I'm fairly certain the materialist does the same thing. Because they don't. Because the materialist faction also doesn't like you using AI. Um. Anyways, so if you can look in the bottom right at the minimap, Lord Shadow. So I've got a. I actually have a hostile commander directly to the east of me. That's what all this red territory is. She allied herself with the Voidbringers. And way up here in the top left at the northwest, the, where this yellow territory is, that's another commander that's hostile because she also allied with the Voidbringers. So, like, they are our enemies. These are, The other three, the white, light green, and dark green, directly to my north and my west, they're actually allies. And we're, in fact, in an alliance with them. So if if we if we win the game then they all win the game along with us which is great and if we move enough forces over to this beacon right here in the farewell front this is the Voidbringer beacon that is summoning them uh, if we take that out we automatically win it's just boom game over we win which is dope Vader's Wall. Hmm. Man, we got some ground to cover. Shay is breaking their peaceful f relationship with Tian 3. Why? Because, because they think Tian 3 has committed an atrocity, I'll bet. Oh boy. I really like the espionage mechanics in this game. They're, they're very simple and they're not overly frustrating to deal with. Like, complex espionage mechanics can be extremely confusing for one, for one thing, so they can be a major turnoff. But an espionage mechanic where really bad shit can happen and it's not fun being on the receiving end. Um is also difficult like having those put together without it being unfun is very difficult to do and i think this game actually did a really good job of it so like even though we're right now the target of certain um covert ops because we have a, an internal breach that we can't seem to get rid of um it's fine like it's not pissing us off it's not pissing me off we lost some cosmite a few turns back but, eh, it's not a big deal. It wasn't game-breaking. 10% extra damage to all firearms, weapons, attacks. That's not bad. That's a decent, decent bonus. Okay, Tian 3 has committed an atrocity. Our agents have been picking up many rumors that a fellow commander has committed an act so unspeakable and degraded that the only reasonable response is an immediate declaration of war. This act is so foul that we are uncertain of what it actually is, only that it must have been terrible indeed for us to hear about it so. <laughs> So yeah, obviously, obviously that was just faked. Somebody used a, um, a covert op against her that succeeded, and yeah. All good. Well, let's see. So... Non-aggression pact. Okay, that's fine. So at least at least they're not at war. Okay, now here is another Voidbringer spawner that appeared. We're going to have to take care of that. 
All right, hammer time finished. Projection ready. There we go. We got that forward base up and running. I'm gonna move these guys like over here. Kind of, sorta. Or maybe I can't. Oh, you know what? I've got the sneaky suspicion that a Voidbringer spawner will not show up within our colony territory. So they will simply show up where we have a forward base or where we have nothing. So I don't know why I moved this guy down here. Alright, that's fine. Let's move him. Let's keep moving him. Need to uh, spread these armies out and figure out what the hell I'm going to put in these stacks. I definitely don't want an army of three gunships. That's just stupid. Protection right. ready. We got a Pteranodon in Amazon Prime. Since Joe was so enamored with our Tyrannosaurus, it's not just a Tyrannosaurus. It's a Pteranodon, my friend. It's a space Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> Clearly a fair bit smaller. And it's also being ridden by somebody. And it has frickin' laser beams on his frickin' forehead. Amazon Prime, maximum number of colonists reached. Okay, that took a while. Beautiful. I'm okay with that. Good, good, good. That means we can share more food with the other colonies. Happiness, Happiness events. Event in colony. 525 energy. Wow. Wow. Alright, let's take care of that. Uh, let's get another unit constructed here. Uh, which one? I don't know. Hollow Smacker? Or Petrifying? Which? Why do I have different laser tank designs? The light blue is all you on the map? Yes, it is. Uh, I'm using the Petrifying, so let's remove the Hollow Smacker design. Yes, I am the really light blue. That is me. That is our stuff. Let's get a petrifying laser tank. Hells yeah. <gasps> Ooh, hey! Uh, Cosmite translocator successful. We just stole 165 Cosmite from the bitch next to us. Operations <laughs> primed and ready. And guess what? We're gonna do it again. 60% chance of success, 30% chance of being detected. Ooh, that's... Ooh. Yikes. Why doesn't this one have an option? You must have a success chance of at least 20% to use the operation. Oh my god, she is all up about that covert ops. Uh, successful operation not detected by target. Very good. Okay. Happiness event Happiness. in colony. We got some more knowledge from research land. Oh, Jesus. What are you doing with your colonists? You don't need to do that. Alright. Let's move you here. Just for the hell of it? Sure. Happiness event right. in colony. And we got some Cosmite. Yeah, baby. Happiness and event in colony. Got some knowledge from JB's Naughty Place. Hey, JB. Thanks for giving us the knowledge, bro. Knowledge. <laughs> Sector terraformed. Yep, that's where the beacon landed. Okay, now. Let's do this. We're going to move... This game have multiplayer. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, dude. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to move our units, our heroes that are over here, east towards that beacon. And I'm going to get them to... I'm going to try to get them setting up forward bases along the way to speed up travel. Uh, so which way do I want... I just want them to go, like... Go there. And then probably... Ooh, maybe not that thing. Damn. That's a landmark. We would have to deal with that. I don't want to bother. We'll go around, maybe? My Sky Shipping Port. You know what? I could probably unlock that. And then use it. Because it's an orbital relay. And then we just... We got that location. And then we keep going here to that one. And then that one. And then we could probably just zip down to here. Bogdan's Crucible. And then we're right next to the beacon. That's not bad. Not as far as I thought we were going to have to move. Okay, so let's go ahead and move Walker Lady. Right over there. And Laser Tank Lady. Over to here. 
Knowledge has to come from somewhere. It may as well be from my naughty place. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> the question is, what kind of knowledge are we getting from that? <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go ahead and put you here. And then you can go ahead and move here. Stay put. I'm uh, going to move this huntress. Have a huntress. There you go. Uh, you only have a biomancer for a healer. Eh, I'm, not, I'm not keen with that. I'm not kosher with that. Um, okay. And let's move you here. Only the worst. <laughs> Rule number one about JB's Naughty Place. Do not talk about JB's Naughty Place. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to stick this army uh, right up here. Bit of a weird spot, but I need to keep them where the forward bases are. Not necessarily where our colony territory is, I think. So you stay right there. Alright, orders required. Uh, let's move Let's move Mr. Rifle Guy. Let's get him to move up here. There you go. Okay, he's in position, ready to keep moving. Uh, sniper Lady, who is joining us in the crusade against the beacon. She's going to take one more turn to get over there. How about to get over here? Hmm. All right. Let's send her down this way. There we go. All right, Commander. You are also going to zip up to here. Old buddy, old pal. Shoosh. There we go. Now, you guys can stay put, I guess. Where the hell is that, anyways? Oh, yeah, that's all around my east, eastern borders. Um... Don't want to move you. Don't want to move you. This is the sniper later that's going to go after the spawner that just cropped up. So build this forward base, please. And then you can move over to here. Okay. And don't want to move you. Okay. There's the walker hero. Can she use the orbital relay? For some reason, you can only... I'm not sure why, but you can only put like two units next to an orbital relay, and then that's it. You can't move them to that same... You can't move any to that same orbital relay. What the hell? This is why I don't like it when there's so many bloody orbital relays close to each other, because the game is telling me, oh, she's going to have to teleport way over to this other place, and blah, 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 and it's like, there's a fucking relay right there. How many skill points do you have? Three. Oh, shite. Um, I think we were waiting for something, though. Vitality, I guess. Okay. So I can't bring her to this orbital relay because of reasons. And... Why can't I go to that one? Because reasons. There is a spawner right there. I just realized that. Holy shit. Uh, we're going to ignore that. Okay. You stay put. Alright, time to go after this spawner that just popped up. So let's go ahead and do some naughty things to it. Alright, you can zip up to here and build a forward base up in this area. There you go. That'll help a little bit with some movement. Keyword a little bit. And where is hammer time? MC Hammer. I'm so glad I renamed her MC Hammer. Alright. Um, says there's some kind of effect in this sector. I think it's this thing, the Shroud Generator. So let's actually... Try to wrest control of that. 
from these dudes. I don't think it's going to affect us because they won't be fighting against us, but I don't like seeing it. It makes me nervous. There we go. Next up, you can't do anything, so just sit tight, okay? And Amazon Prime is still developing stuffs. Let's get Energizer to also do another phase manipulator, shall we? You ever done a max difficulty Dolores playthrough? Uh, I play on Grand Admiral all the time. That is the only difficulty I play on. Okay. Lord Sloth's house, we are suffering from some happiness problems. But, on the plus side... We are also... I don't think I want to up our food production here just yet. Okay, so let's put you all here. More food production means more colonists more quickly, means more unhappiness until we get that thing built. And that's going to be a few turns still. Actually, we can just buy now, can't we? So yeah, what the hell am I worried about? Ignore everything I just said. Max Crisis? Absolutely. That's all I do. Grand Admiral, X5, Crisis Strength, uh, no no difficulty scaling. That's all I ever play on now. And there. Okay, that'll do. Alright, end of turn. And we should be able to get into a battle next turn. I freaking hope so. This, uh, in all honesty, Last Shadow, this game has a lot of things going for it. The combat's really awesome. If you can get into a big battle with lots of armies, like because you're attacking somebody else's colony or something, and they have like two or three armies defending, um, it could be really fun. And that's when you see the, um, the kitting out of your units with different mods and, and abilities and stuff like that, as well as uh, having certain army stacks set up a certain way to... Uh, tailored to you. You want this army to be able to do this stuff. You want it. You want this army to do these things. You want this army to do those things, etc., etc., etc. It's really cool seeing those all come to fruition in like, oh Jesus, uh, in like a really big battle, which is a lot of fun. Um, so the combat's really good. The customization and replayability is insanely good in this game. Um, but just like Stellaris, something that I praise this game for a lot. The soundtrack is also great. Well, my allies are declaring war on each other again. <sighs> Son of a bitch. It's okay. We can deal with that beacon. All of the problems will be solved. Are you really coming after my little scout unit? My wife won't let me buy another game for at least a month. Oh, well then, hold off. Shay and Mahina forged a defensive pact. Okay, well, at least they're getting along. But everybody else is just crapping on TN3. That's way... That's really too bad. Uh... We still got a good 45 minutes. Um, 45 minutes left in the stream. Stellaris was 170 with all DLC. What did you buy like each DLC pack individually or something? Like holy shit, dude! Wait for a sale. <laughs> Maybe a dumb question, but how are you able to see the entire world in your map like that? Uh, I scouted all. Um, I scouted pretty much all of it. I, I don't know what to tell you, man. It, like, it's always looked like that on my screen. 
I can check the options. Um, let me see. I'm going to go to options. Uh, world UI. Play movement on animation. Let's see. Show domain, so on, so hex grid, arm, and then, man, play movement. Nope. I don't think this will be it either. Force fast con kill figures as units take damage. Auto cycle units, combat action camera, display damage numbers. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Let's go to general. Uh, okay, that's not it. I'm not sure. I think it's just because I scouted out, like, almost the entire world. There's still splotches where I have not had a unit go anywhere near, and I do not have intel on it. Like this, this big core chunk of TN3's territory. I got nothing. Ooh, production gains. Colonies produce plus 10% production. That's pretty helpful. Oops, uh, hang on a second. Fuck that up. Let's go back to our technology. There we go. Stellaris itself was 80 bucks in PlayStation Store. Oh, dude, you should have waited. How the hell was it 80 bucks? Was that the Deluxe Edition? That must have been the Deluxe Edition. Mahina has insulted... Or sorry, Tian3 has insulted my empire and is not to be trusted. Shut up. And Shay declared war on Tian3. Shay and Mahina are now in a defensive pact. Whatever. Y'all are dummies. Fighting each other when we should be fighting the mutual threat that th that threatens us all. The threat that threatens, that is threatening us, which is a huge threat. Production ready. Production ready. All right, Lord Sloth's house. Buy now on that stupid bot botanical gardens. Please and thank you. All right, let's move two people over here into the happiness spots. There we go. That'll do it. Okay. Production Maybe ready. Naughty place. We got some water sectors. Let's get the advanced upgrade while we're at it, shall we? Yeah. Don't need that much happiness per turn. Let's throw this into knowledge. I thought you might have built a satellite or something like in Civ, but scouting it all makes sense. Yeah, there was a couple turns there where I just pumped out a bunch of scout units like uh, Vanguard Owls and uh, Amazon Strikes. And then I just said, go auto-explore. And they've just been running around auto-exploring most everywhere for a while. Um, Lord Sloth's house, produce botanical ready. gardens, great. Officer ready to launch, let's leave him alone. Okay, confirm movement. MC Hammer, uh, get these guys to leave that structure. Get them to fuck off. There we go, done. Okay, now, sniper lady, you need to get right up here into position. And then you, uh, move into position right here and then mm -hmm. you can move into position right over here this is gonna be a crazy ass battle a little overkill because I'm attacking all three of their armies at once deluxe with utopia fair enough so you got the so yeah you got expansion pass one that's why that was so expensive you can also steal map data yes there is uh, uh, covert operation that allows you to steal map data. I have not used that uh, at all. That was all scouted out by myself. So that did not help in this case. But that is a thing that you could do. Thank you for reminding me, Lord Sloth. I forget just how many different operations there are. It's really cool. The other two DLCs were 40 each. Oh my god, dude. Th those must have been the expansion passes because the uh, the individual DLC, they're not that expensive. If you use the Void Tech Scouting Doctrine or mod your scouts, you can also reveal more or there's Empire Research that increases your colony vision range. There's, there's that too. All true. Okay, we're going to get into a big battle here because we're attacking these big guys in the middle, but it's going to drag in all the adjacent armies, so it's going to be a four-on-three fight. Rawr. Low risk battle still. Uh, I'm leaning towards manual combat, so we're gonna do that. Bring it, bitches. Are you ready to be dimensionally collapsed again? I don't think. Ooh, the spawner is there. Okay, cool. So we just need to take out the big core void uh, voidbringer units. And then bam. 
Was that U.S. dollars and and including tax? Yeah, you, you should have waited for a sale, dude. Honestly, like that's expensive. I know Paradox games are inherently expensive, anyways, because they have a buttload of DLC all the time. But still, like 170 bucks for Stellaris, that was you could have held off. Oops, I did not mean to speed that up. Okay. Operations available. Come, come closer, my pretties. Why does something have a high morale aura? Oh, it's ah, uh, it's M, it's Emma three. That's why. So this is the uh, this is this is the female sex bot in the game. <laughs> Didn't see much point in playing without all DLC, considering five-year-old game. Um, the DLC just adds stuff. Like, really, the base game is fine. Tired of holograms? Why not let M3 give you a try? This fully configurable female succubot will have you spellbound. Programmed in all the arts of seduction, including cooking, cleaning, interest in your sports teams, and other unmentionables, Emma 3 lives to serve without all the shaming and the judgmental stares from her friends. Because she's a robot and has no other desire outside of serving you. Voted most seductive nine standard planetary cycles in a row, this model is sure to never tell you you've been naughty, unless you want her to. <laughs> Canadian dollars. Mm. I've said it a couple times, I'm sure you're sick of hearing me saying it, but I'll say it again. Should have waited for a sale, dude. <laughs> That is steep. Alright. Walker. Move over here. Can you fire off a missile? You sure can. And you can hit these sons of bitches too. My horrific. I'm going to just get you to shoot over to here. Bam. Suck it. Now. Uh, this hero. She has a lightning launcher. So we could fire that off as well. Uh, once per battle? Oh no, cooldown of two turns. Let's move her into position. Assume the position! And... Blast these guys. Enemy destroyed. Critical hit, I love it. Suck on that, bitches. Alright, who's next? Uh, we gotta... Oh, that's right, we need to dimensional collapse. Uh, what's the chance on this thing? 47%. That's risky. That's very risky. Okay. Uh, what about a mass driver cannon? 47% uh, still. Okay, that's fine. So we'll do dimensional collapse. See what happens. Damn it! Shit. That's not good. Shit. That's too bad. That's really, really, really too bad. Okay. Uh, MC Hammer. Um, I'll just get you to move up to here for now. And Rally and Cry. Blah, blah, blah. That did something. What it did, I don't know what it did. I don't know what it did, but it did a thing. It did a something. Alright, Overwatch. And you can also overwatch. I don't know what else to do. That Leviathan is going to move in and, like, blast us with God knows what. Okay, you move up to here. Set up a missile turret. Just got here. What did I miss? Uh, not, not Silva. Good to see you again, man. Thanks for coming by tonight. Uh, I haven't really missed anything. We're just trying to... Uh, Take out another spawner for the hell of it, because it's like right next to our territory. Shoot this. There we go. And you can move up to here. Can you shoot your missile at somebody? Oh, you sure can. Oh, you dirty. Where's your missile launch? Oh, there it is. I didn't see it pop. Okay. We're good. Now you move up to here also fire off a brimstone missile because we're disgusting like that. That missed, but it still hit. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. 
All right. Uh, next up, we got a sniper hero over here. Let's get her to move here and take out a spawner because that's all we can get her to do for now. That's not even going to kill it. Holy shit. Bam. Okay. I was desperately looking for a new game considering 2021 hasn't had many releases due to COVID. It's had releases, just nothing really noteworthy. Anyways, it's all good, buddy. In the end, you do you. Am I right or am I right? Uh, let's go ahead and move the Pteranodon like way the fuck up here. And then take out this spawner. Suck it. Enemy annihilated. Rapid laser cannons sure are fun. How long does this thing last? Uh, for two turns. Damn. I don't want to do that to my... Hmm. The only reason I found out about Stellaris is because I outplayed Surviving Mars. Mm. Are those enemies to the right? They're, they are. Shnikes. Well then. I think it's missile time. Damn it. No missile ready. Alright. Overwatch time. We had a talk, for, guys, we had a talk, and we decided that it's not missile time, it's just overwatch time. Alright, so I'm going to actually move you down here, and get you to look up this way, like so, that's perfect. Okay. I found there's been a lot of indie releases, all the one-man studios are naturally immune to COVID. Yep, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, um, Pug, move on up to here, and let's try and keep the Pteranodon a little bit safer. Give him the Blur Cloud. Good, good, good. Alright, now... Can you go on Overwatch? No, you can't. Alright, that's fine. Ooh, you know what? I could be a cheap fucker and maybe pull something closer. Uh, phase Shift Duct. What? Mm -hmm. I'll pull that Sentinel closer and then the Rift Generator could shoot it. Google Paradox Games. Just don't buy all the DLC to a train sim. Yeah, no shit. There we go. Alright, Rift Generator. Do your shit. Kapow! Ooh, shit. Enemy Kapow! Kill. Our Pteranodon took a little bit of damage thanks to that backlash projection, but they're okay. Alright, now, we've got... More heroes that require assistance and moving and stuff. All right, you. Uh, three to seven. Damn, that's not anywhere near far enough. What the hell? Uh, let's undo that. Let's move. Fuck it. Let's move you up here. You can stay put. All right, now you go ahead and move under here. Stay under the quantum avatar halo. Now you up to here. Fire off your brimstone missile. <laughs> Suck it. Okay, now how close do I need to get this guy? Shoot that thing. Pretty damn close. Alright, how about this guy? Ooh, there we go. Now we're talking. Move all up to here. And fire at this thing twice. rat a tat a tat a tat rat a tat a tat a tat Fuck you. Spawn her down. All right, that gets rid of two spawners right off the top. I'm okay with that. Um, there's something else we can do. Eh, not really. Let's uh, move our phase manipulator up to here and set it on defense mode. I'm really worried about that damn, the big guy, this dude with the big eyeball. The fucking Voidbringer Leviathan. Not a, not a fan of this guy. Warp darkness. Nine range on that attack. Like, can you believe that shit? It has as much range as our bloody missiles. So, like, that's some scary shit. Um, let's do a blur cloud. Apparently, Paradox is working on a new game. Hmm. 
lurk that on you, just in case. Alright, I'll take it. Uh, next unit? Okay. What does this leave us? Hmm. Not a hell of a lot from the looks of things. This guy. These guys. Shit, what am I gonna do? Overwatch like that. Okay. I'll just do that. And then the heavy soldier, move him over here. And he can overwatch like that as well. And I'll move this guy here. Get you to blur cloud our hero. And then this thing. I want to be in range to phase shift abduct. So let's go ahead and stick him over here somewhere. Actually, let's put him over here. This will do. Like that. Alright, perfect. Whew, okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. Spawners activated. Yep, 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 yep. You do you. Oops. What the hell is happening, anyways? There we go. There's the Leviathan. I don't know what it is shooting at. Oh, it shot it at our Huntress. Alright. God damn, those attacks have massive range. What a pain in the ass. Arc 2 looks promising. <laughs> Studio Wildcard could go fuck themselves. Ooh. Nice fumble, bro. Okay. It's goddamn flame attacks. <laughs> oh, I love the Quantum Avatar Halo. It's just so funny when they shoot you. Oh no! Saw that coming. Okay. Not a fan. I played the I played the original arc a lot, dude, but Studio Wildcard, like fuck those guys. They did way too much sh shady shit when it came around Enemy to down. uh developing the original arc that fuck them. That's how I feel about them. Period. They're going to pull that kind of crap. They're just not going to get my money. Alright, here's the plan. We are going to move the phase manipulator over to here. And we are going to phase shift evacuate on our pteranodon. Hey, look at that. He's in range. Attack! Enemy destroyed. Get fucked. Now this thing, you can go ahead and shoot these pieces of shit. Enemy annihilated. See ya. And then these guys, got your brimstone missile? You sure do. Suck on this. And next, we've got uh, Hammer Time with her lightning launcher. Definitely going to shoot that. Suck it. Um, what else? Can we move, can we just move the Biomancer closer to shoot them? Or the Huntress closer to shoot them? I don't think so. Oh, we still have a Brimstone Missile with these guys, too. Yeah, move closer. Brimstone Missile, baby. Yeah! 
You missed, but you still hit. I'll take it. Get fucked. And next up, move this guy closer. I'll be picking this game up. Yeah, it's like the base game. There's still a lot of stuff in this game. Enemy space. down. Um, this invasion, this invasion thing that I'm that I'm uh, currently fending off right now. Just do be aware that it does require the invasions DLC, so it's not a thing in the base game. Uh, but the base game itself definitely has a lot of bang for its buck because, like I said, this game is extremely replayable. You can mix and match your the, your factions and the secret techs. And uh, there's just a lot of stuff to do. Lot, lots of paths to victory still. Uh, my favorite is the Doomsday weapons. Those are super duper cheap. And uh, fun and easy. Oh, by the way, Dimensional Collapse on some piece of shit. So, looking for a... This guy. Enemy eliminated. Later, bitch. <laughs> Paradox making bank. I mean, there's that. There's a, uh, these guys actually added a lot of stuff in just base updates, though, without requiring you to have the DLC. So they did a good job of that. Okay, now uh, let's go ahead and move you right here. And then I'm going to get you to jetpack over to here. You're going to beat the shit out of this Vorpal Sniper piece of crap. Enemy Fuck down. You. you just go... He just done gone, got, got. Alright, I have a plan. We're dealing with this piece of crap in the back here. Move you up to here. You still got a strike missile. So, uh, eat this. Bam. And then shoot him. You missed! What the fuck is wrong with you? All right, well, I got two missiles on this guy, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, yeah, he's got to move forward right here. That sucks. All right, well... Missile. Uh, like so. Eat that, and how about another one? Like this. Damn it! Okay, these guys, move them here. Curious when we will get Nemesis. It'll be like next year, probably. Shoot this guy. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, you missed. You suck. Why do these guys keep missing so much? It's bullshit, I say. Okay, I'm going to try a phase shift evacuate. One, two, three, four, five. I probably should have done this a lot sooner. Move the phase manipulator up to here. Phase shift abduct on this piece of shit. Which didn't work. Fuck. Okay. Really that long? I, yeah, I suspect as much. Stagger this piece of crap. You fumbled? Why did you fumble? Fuck. Why are you on Overwatch? Shoot this guy, kill him. Please. Enemy kill. Bam. Suck it. You, you suck penis. Thou art giant bitch. Uh, let's go ahead and move you here. And it's missile time. Eat shit. And how about another missile? Hmm, that won't really do very much. Let's just shoot it right on top of this thing, shall we? Fuck you. Let's move you up to here. Shoot this piece of crap. Damn it. Are you shitting me? 
That's some horse crap. You're gonna fucking die for that. Vengeance for my robo dog. Enemy annihilated. Eat shit. God damn it, I lost a pug because of that garbage. What a crock of shit. Okay, so the last fucking... The last Voidbringer thing is that guy way over there, so... Uh... I don't know what to do. Let's just move our units over there, I guess. Sit put. You stay put, excuse me. Uh, you can go ahead and shoot this guy. Fuck you, and fuck you, and Enemy fuck you. Annihilated. Nice knowing ya. Uh, as for this other dude... Let's go ahead and jetpack. Jetpack up to here. Ooh. Got an idea. Uh, where can you jetpack to? Jetpack up to here. Alright. And then... Can you... Phase shift abduct. From a little bit closer. Think we'll get an Ekroid sooner? Oh, absolutely. That's a given. The next expansion pass is Ancient Relics, Federations, and Necroids. So, yeah, we're going to get Necroids. Sooner rather than later. Uh, what the flying fuck? Okay, well, that was weird. Let's move you here. And now we move you up here. And now we move you. Can we just, like, run up and bonk him? Yeah, sure, fuck it, why not? The what? That's not. Oh, I forgot she has avarice. Damn it! So she shot them rather than just run up to behind them or run up to them. Enemy neutralized. Whoops! I fucked that up. Okay, my fault. My own fault. It's okay. I take responsibility for that. I fucked up. All right, let's zip you down. Okay, and next turn. Spawners are still working a little bit overtime, but that's okay. They've just got this one really weak Voidbringer guy left, and we're gonna love pheromones resisted. Damn right. We're just gonna beat the crap out of them next turn. What are you gonna do? Nothing. I didn't fucking think so. You ain't gonna do shit. Quantum Avatar is so fun. Oh, you bitch. You want a piece of the sniper lady? She will fuck you up. Allow me to demonstrate just how badly sniper lady will fuck you up. Suck on this. That's what I thought. And this is all pointless because I can just win the win the thing right now. Get fucked. And Get fucked. And next, get fucked. Enemy down. All right, next, get fucked. Get fucked. Enemy get eliminated. Fucked. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and move up to here, just for fun. I'm gonna chuck a grenade on this. Clink. That was fun. Alright, next up, uh, we're gonna move all the way up to here. And then we can use the phase shift to swoop. Like so. And then use Avarice to go like this. Bang. She shot it. I saw her shoot it. She shot it. Alright, um... Like I said, now we just win the game. Alright, go beat the shit out of this thing. Bonk. Enemy Bonk. annihilated. Eat it. You're dead. Uh, let's go ahead and get the heavy soldier to move up first. Shoot the piss out of this guy. Zap. 
And zap. And zap. See ya. Enemy neutralized. And now you go ahead and kill this dude, because why not? Bang! They never stood a chance. Get fucked. Enemy kill. All we lost was a pug. I'll take it. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. I'll queue up another pug. Voidbringer's Faction War. What did we get? Onyx of Conversion. What does this do? Dark energy springs forth from this size stone, allowing you to try to control an enemy unit. Attempts to apply mind control for as long as the hero lives. On can only be used once per battle. Wow. It doesn't specify what kind of unit, whether it's mechanical or biological or anything like that. That's pretty cool. I like that. Voidbringer spawner, eh? And it's gone. Take reward. Gonna build another forward base here. And I'm actually going Operations to... Operations primed and ready. Do some... Oops, no, not that. Not that. Back out of that. Operations. We're gonna do some fun stuff. We're gonna terraform this sector. Because we can. And then we do it again. Rapid reforestation. There you go. Wasn't that fun? It went from being a volcanic deadlands to now it's like, oh hey, it's all beautiful again. Okay, this person, she got stuff. She leveled up. We give her stuff. Only level 11, eh? That's not very good. Okay, what do you have so far? Close quarter specialist 3, vitality 3, counterattack, first strike, phase shift, dig in. Okay, well, let's take a look. Is this level based? What do you mean by level based? You're gonna have to specify. Um, all around awareness, we don't need that. Coordinated strike. Target is 40% easier to hit. No, I don't care about that. 10% accuracy and damage for two turns. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, that's not bad, but... Let's go ahead and do the personal weapons expert for 10% damage and accuracy. There we go. And that's good. Okay, good, 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 good. Now, Sniper Lady, you need to make your way back because you're the one that lost your pug. And where are you going? I don't know where the hell you are going. Let's put you up here, shall we? Oh shit, see someone triggered Mobius with the arc question. <laughs> I just... What are you talking about? I, I quickly said my piece and left it at that. I didn't fucking go on a spiel or anything. Jeez, calm down. Alright, let's queue a pug. Actually, let's queue a second pug while we're at it. And we can also queue an engineer and an assault bike. And why not an echo walker? Sure. Are there enemies higher level than you? Uh, like, here, enemy heroes? Is that what you're referring to? It's it's just the heroes. Uh, like, your units can rank up and stuff like that, but it's really just the heroes that gain levels and all that crap and get additional skills that way. Uh, your units get some slight bonuses once they, uh, as they rank up. That's about it. What your units can do is entirely dependent on A, what the unit is, and B, what kind of mods you give it. Mods determine how it's kitted out. Like, for example, our engineer, because instead of just dropping... Here's the mods on the right-hand side of the unit screen. So, normally, an engineer drops a little immov immobile gun turret to uh, into onto the battlefield, and that is what you get. It's just a twin gun turret. But because we instead modded it with a launcher turret pack, it puts, it replaces the engineer's gun turret with a turret that fires missiles. Plus we also gave the engineer its own miniaturized missile array, which fires a brimstone missile. So the engineer creates a missile turret and then has its own fire missile ability which normally it would not have, but we, because we gave it those particular mods, now it behaves differently. Okay, so that's the 
rifle guy. And now we've got our commander moving on up. Okay, so that's cool. Orders required. You stay put. Uh, what about you? You stay put. Uh, here's Walker, lady. We need her to move up here. I can't help but wonder how many arm enemy armies we're going to find at the beacon. Okay, there we go. That's done. Uh, you stay put. You're not doing nothing. Now we've got Sniper Lady, who is also ready to traverse way up to here. So that is six armies. Six of our heroes that are actually up in this region to attack the enemy beacon. Shwoop! And there you go. So I suspect, uh, and I'm actually I'm hoping that in the next stream that will be the last stream for this because I will go and defeat the beacon. Okay, so you know what? Uh, you don't have a healer, so let's go ahead and split off your huntress. Go up here. Are you producing a biomancer by any chance? No, you're not. Why not? Let's get two really quick. And then I shall move this one up in the queue. Just like that. So every enemy engagement is a turn-based game of chance. Um... I don't see how it's all a turn-based game of chance, but it's turn-based. There's always there is always a chance to hit, just like in XCOM. But it, that is determined by things like line of sight, whether there's enemy, whether there's obstacles in the way, whether there's units in the way, what kind of cover they're hiding behind, that shit. Um, if that's what you mean by game of chance okay um, I don't necessarily want to this is a goofy looking unit but it's like a big super cannon so it's kind of freaky um, I don't really want to deal with that stuff I kind of want to just want to what is this a targeting array oh fuck well, I've got... There's a nuclear fallout thing and that targeting array. I want to deal with both of those. How do you lose? A battle or a war? Alright, so let's skip. I should be able to get one more turn in. Before we end the stream. Now, I'm going to get into... I'm going to get into another battle, but I'm going to auto-combat this one. Because it's just fighting this little neutral thingy. The, the defeat condition is your commander being dead and your capital not under your control at the same time. Well, that's that's one. Um, you, can, you can lose if somebody else also builds their doomsday weapon. You can lose if somebody else captures enough territory and holds it. You can lose... Uh, well, actually, you can win if literally everybody on the planet forms an, an alliance together. That's actually a win. Um, you can also lose, uh, if, if all of your colonies get raised and then your capital gets raised. Yeah, but those are technically victory conditions, just not for you. Uh-huh. Uh, um... What's another one? Isn't it like, um, isn't it also like if you if you get all of your colonies raised and you have just your capital and then that also gets raised or can it be raised? That's a good. That's a good question because I don't know. But yeah, I can. So a battle can involve up to seven stacks of six units. That's correct. Well, technically, technically eight if you include militia. The attacker can retreat, but the defender cannot. Mm -hmm. Go on. Defeat in battle involves all your units dying or retreating. Right. 
And I've I've been defeated because I've retreated all my units before. But that was intentional. I was curious if there was elite enemies stronger than you. Uh Units are divided up into tiers. So, like, tier 1 and tier 2 units are, like, cheaper units that are, quote-unquote, weaker. And then tier 3 and tier 4 units tend to be colloquially stronger. And they also have different abilities. But they also tend to be bigger and slower and have other drawbacks. So, like, while a little Vanguard Trooper might be easier to kill um, than, say, a Laser Tank, the Laser Tank has its own drawbacks. In the current context, not really, but in generally, yes. Gotcha, Capitan. Lord Sloth spitting out the facts. The planet the planet fall facts. The planet facts. <laughs> the tears and also the Voidbringers can be an elite invasion similar to Stellaris Scourges. Yes, so... Like I mentioned that earlier, is that this Voidbringer invasion that we're dealing with is kind of like an endgame crisis um, that you would that you would come across in Stellaris. There's a bunch of little units roaming around from the looks of things. These volcanoes look uncannily tall. Hmm. Weird. Okay, so laser tank. Can you get over here in one turn? No. Damn it. Okay. Well, walker. Move up to here. And attack these. This is a very low risk battle. Easy peasy. Shouldn't be a problem. Bam. Dealt with. Good. Okay, take the reward. I can move over this way. And now laser tank. Here. Let's see what this is all about. My Sky Shipping Port. Enter. Uh, risky battle. Oh my god. Yeah, we're not going to deal with that right now. I want to get the nuclear fallout out of there first. Damn. That is very problematic. I don't like that. Let's have a look in here. See if this guy can get a little bit of XP by attacking this terraforming outpost. Uh, low risk battle? Sure, let's try it. In addition to the difficulty of the AI players, you can also set a world intensity with meaner marauders, which is like raging barbarians in Civ. And the timing and difficulty of a Voidbringer invasion, that's correct. But again, the Voidbringer invasion is only with the invasions DLC. Okay, so we got that building cleared. Coup. And let's move you into here. And move these guys along. That's the walker number two. Walker hero number two. Um, and then let's move you over to here. Sniper lady. I really want this sniper lady to be in the battle at the beacon because, she, like I said... She's got some sick mods, but she's also got the Void Seeker, which always flanks and does a base damage of 63 right now. So, depending on how many shields and armor they have, I'm hoping for, like, massive 60 or 70 damage shots. Void Seeker, excuse me. I, I forget what I called it earlier. Plus, the Shockwave Infuser should be fun. Received a proposal from Shay, which is... What's this? You want the cheerful lowlands? Where is this? Um, why do you want that again? You know what? Fuck it. You can have it. I don't need it. Okay, ops ready to launch. Leave that alone. Don't need it. Leave that alone. Okay, happiness in Royal happiness Champ. Event in colony. We done got, got some knowledge, boys and girls. Uh, second thought. Oops, not that one. This one. Boink. There we go. That's better. Okay, happiness, happiness in JB's in naughty colony. place. We got a bunch of production. 
Yeah, boy. Alright, uh, let's do the advanced military infrastructure and holistic military care center. Let's also do repeater defense turrets and the combat simulation center. Bam, 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 bam. What if she stubs a toe? Well, I don't know. Bloodbringer's drop location detected. Whoa, way up there, really? Is it going to take out that settlement? That's a good question. That's coming, like, really close to the beacon. Damn. Okay, it looks like there's no Voidbringer spawners on the way to the beacon, so we're okay. We have a bit of a clear shot. Got a forward base there. Forward base there. Very good. Production ready. Base manipulator at Energizer. I'm going to go ahead and use by now. To get that pug. Now I move the pug towards the north. Bleep, bloop, bleep, bloop, bleep, bloop. Okay, there we go. And these are our defenders. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? There they are. Okay. Sniper lady lost the pug, so she is going to start making her way back down to the south. That thing is still recharging. Damn it. Um, How far can she go? Pretty far. Barefoot sniper. Uh, I'm sure she'll live. Okay, and now you can kind of make your way over to here. Actually, hit this thing. There you go. And you can go ahead and move on up to here. Alright, I am going to go ahead and turn Bridge Gorge into a forward relay base. It'll take three turns for that to happen, so that's a bit lengthy, but it'll be so worth it. Alright, now, let's move you down this way. And you can just go ahead and... Do, 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 do. Not down there. Whoops, that's the wrong way. Whatever. Okay, orders required. Uh, you stay put. Actually, you're in the colony. I don't need you there. Why are you there again? Mason, no remember. Alright, well, make your way back over here because you need more units. I forgot there's no road in that little portion there. If only I had the Devar tech to bam turn that freaking mountain ready. section into dust. That would be amazing. Okay, and production ready. The pug taken care of. You stay put. Uh, you also stay put. And three gunships. Yeah. Okay. You stay put, you stay put, you stay put, and you can stay put. All right, and uh, that's it. So I'm going to queue up the next little bit here, and while our guys auto move around, that is it for tonight's stream. So I'm going to, uh, in the next stream, we're going to clear out this nuclear fallout, attack this uh, landmark here, and deal with that. And... Um, continue making our way towards the beacon we should be able to attack it um, by the end of Thursday's stream to try and uh, drive the void bringers off this planet and uh, win the game so yeah looking forward to it first time I'll have fended off a void bringer invasion hopefully it goes well um, but yeah, I'd like to extend a big, big thank you to everybody who came by watching me play this live on Twitch tonight. Lord Sloth, not as always. Appreciate the help, but the help, buddy. You're a lot more knowledgeable with this game than I am, that's for sure. Naughty Dog, uh, JB, as always. Strength Norse, good to see you. Last Shadow, thanks for dropping by. Um, good to see you on Twitch uh, at last. Joe Frogman, thanks for coming in. Runicat, uh, been a bit since you popped into a stream, so it's good to see you. Really appreciate it, and I think. 
uh, Ringer TT as well. There it is. I know I missed somebody. And not Silva. What's going on? So, yeah, huge thank you to all of you who came by and watched me playing this live tonight. Um, that means a lot. Those of you watching this in the future on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, that, would, that would be a huge help. Uh, if you would like to see more, consider subscribing to the channel. The goal for 2021 is to try to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of December. Uh, so hopefully my content like this uh, earns your subscription. And, I, and you, you join us on the road to 10K. Uh, the best things you can do to help out are, of course, subscribe yourself and uh, share this content with anybody who you think might enjoy watching it. If you have any friends or colleagues who also play Age of Wonders Planetfall or are interested in Age of Wonders Planetfall, send them my way. Maybe they will enjoy uh, watching me play. And... Uh, don't forget to leave it uh, while you're at it. Leave a comment down below how you think this game is going. If you're excited to seeing us finally uh, be just a couple steps away from the end game, uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be quite cathartic fi finally beating away the Voidbringers off this planet and giving them the big cosmic fuck you, basically. Uh, don't forget to check out the links in the description below. You'll find one from my Twitch channel, which I streamed this off of. Give me a follow there. Pop in and see what I'm doing when I'm when I'm playing live. Currently streaming four times a week. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. 7 o'clock local mountain time. So roughly 9 o'clock Eastern time. 6 o'clock Pacific. 2 p.m. New Zealand time. <laughs> um, yeah, come on by. It'd be great to interact with you in the live chat whilst I am playing. Uh, so hopefully I'll see you there. There's also a link to my Twitter feed. Give me a follow there. It's a great way to keep in touch with me. And I post important announcements all the time. It also serves as a really good alternative uh, if you're not getting Twitch notifications properly. I post on my Twitter every time I go live. So you can use that as a as a backup. Uh, last but not least, there will be a link to my own personal Discord channel for fans of my content for the join. It's not necessary whatsoever to join, uh, but you can uh, if you want to. We've got a small, steadily growing community that uh, slowly gets bigger every week. So come on in and join the fun. We talk about whatever the hell is on our mind in that Discord. And you can take part in our little community events that we have going on there. Uh, for example, I just put up a viewer poll not too long ago uh, with a list of about 26 games that is in that are in my Xbox and PlayStation libraries. You can cast your votes on which games you would like to see me playing live on stream, and the, and the games that get the most votes wind up being the ones that I play um, on Twitch. So if you want to um, take part in that, or sorry, if you want to make your voice heard, you can do that. Uh, there's also a continuous event for all of 2021 uh, where you can submit clips of your favorite moments from my streams and my videos, and I put them together in a compilation uh, that go that is um, finalized in January of next year uh, as a kind of Moby's Best Moments of 2021 as determined by you, the viewer. So um, if you want to take part in any of that stuff, Join the Discord. All those links are in the description below. Hopefully, I'll see you there, uh, either in the Twitch or in the Discord. Uh, it'd, be, it'd be great. And, uh, yeah, I do hope that uh, we have a good time later this year celebrating celebrating hitting 10,000 subs uh, later on. That would be absolutely fantastic. So, we'll see what happens. And uh, I'm just going to wait for our turn to kick back up, and then I'll save the game. And GTFO. This game, I'm not... I have to admit, these days, I am not spending enough time playing this game, considering how awesome it is. It really sh it really does deserve more of my attention. Um, but i got a little bit too much going on with other stuff, um, <laughs> in, in my opinion, to really uh, put a lot of time into this one. I definitely was putting a lot of time into it earlier, uh, especially when it was newer to me. I uh, was definitely putting a lot of time into it then. Um, you know, figuring out how the game works and trying out some of the new stuff because it, it was just like, oh man, there's all this cool shit that you can do. Um, definitely, definitely a fun game worth anybody's time. So, uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, save the game now. We'll do a new save and then I'm going to go ahead and delete all the old saves to uh, clean up the, uh, the save list a little bit, I suppose. Sometimes these saves take a long time because we do have a lot of stuff moving around the map now. Um, so, 
in all these areas where we don't have vision, there's probably a lot of stacks of enemy armies or our armies belonging to other commanders moving around. Like, you can see the Voidbringers clearly have a few stacks moving around because they have a spawner over here. They've got another spawner over here. So they they probably have a few guys moving around in Mahina Wateka's territory that we can't see because it's outside our vision. But, uh, you know, it's all good. All right. Um, please save sometime this century. This is taking an absurdly long time. There's a lot of structures between us and the beacon, that's for sure. Huh. Where, where was it we wanted to go? The transmission terminal, then the mask mountains, and then hopefully Bogdan's crucible. And that will create a road. It should, because there's only one little, one little hex of mountain between. Uh, so it's possible that there will be a road either up over this way or over this way. I think I don't want to click the stick and check out the sector borders for fear of the damn game freezing on me. Oh yeah, it'll it'll be right here. I can see the borders. It'll be right here. There's a road made, so that'll work out pretty well. There's a lot of army stacks on that beacon, that's for sure. And I didn't realize there was going to be three. That's okay, though. Come on, game, save. I want to log off. <laughs> I want to go eat a snack and uh, go to bed. Well, this is going slowly. Oh, boy. Can I delete old saves? Let's start removing some, I guess, eh? Well, I'll do this bit by bit, and uh, I will leave the turn 115 autosave in just in case, because... It, this is the first time it has taken this long to save the damn game. Like, there's a couple times where it took a while, but this is... This is ridiculous. Let's try again. Nothing popped up, so... Um... Um... I'm worried. Should I be worried, Lord Sloth? Should I be super duper worried? Because this is taking an absurdly long time. I'm scared. You know what? I think I'm just going to back out of the game. Fuck it. Let's just exit to the menu. You have made some unsaved progress. Do you wish to save a game? PC owner, no clue. Yeah. Let's exit to the menu. Fuck it. see what happens. Watch, I broke the game. Manual save. I, I did, I was manually saving. That's that's what caused this thing to take so freaking b a bajillion years to do anything. Anyways, I'm just going to leave it there and whatever. Well, I'll just quit the game and all that good stuff. This might, I hope this doesn't corrupt the actual save file. That'll really suck. But uh, anyways, I'm going to call it there. Uh, so yeah. I'll be back again tomorrow with more uh, Stellaris Console Edition. That's Tuesday, April 27th. We'll be back to hopefully finish off this. Um, oh, the autosave is still around. I deleted all everything, but um, hopefully I'll be back to finish off this particular game Age of Age of Wonders Planetfall on the Thursday, uh, April 29th. If all this saving issues does not make it explode and unplayable later on. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, we'll see you then. Uh, I'm out of here. Have a good night, everybody.